السلام عليكم أعزائي طلبة المرحلة الثانية باسمه تعالى نبدأ المحاضرة الثانية Physiology of GI System We will talk about propulsion and mixing of food in the elementary tract عملية حركة وخلط الطعام داخل قناة الجهاز الهضمي Starting from ingestion of food The person will ingest the food to maintain adequate nutritional supply for the body and this determined by two mechanisms the hunger and appetite the hunger the is the intrinsic desire for food or the appetite preferring the person for some item of food so by this he will ingest the food after ingestion the mastication chewing process will occur in the mouth we have incisors teeth which is responsible for cutting the food bullas and we have the molars teeth which is responsible for grinding we have an important reflex, which is the chewing reflex. The presence of bullets of food in the mouth at first initiates reflex inhibition of the muscle of mastication, which allows the lower jaw to drop. فوجود لقمة الطعام داخل الفم راح تحفز عضلات المضغ تمنحها من تقلص فتنبسط هذه العضلات تؤدي إلى حركة الفك الأسفل سفلي إلى الأسفل. This will initiate a stretch reflex of the jaw muscle that lead to rebound contraction. So this will raise the jaw and cause closure of the teeth, but it also compress the bullus again. فعملية نزول الفك السفلي إلى الأسفل راح تحفز لنا رد فعل معاكس يؤدي إلى تقلص عضلات المضغ. وبالتالي يرفع الفك السفلي إلى الأعلى ويضغط على لقمة الطعام. This process was repeated one, two, three, and so on. So the chewing process will transfer, will convert the food to small piece. فتحول الطعام إلى قطع صغيرة. هذا السؤال وارد بالامتحان. Talk about the chewing reflex. What is the chewing reflex? After that, the swallowing process will occur. The glutition. عملية البلع. Swallowing from the mouth to the pharynx. من الفم إلى البلعوم. To the esophagus. إلى المرأ. To the stomach. We have three stages. A voluntary stage. اللي هي إرادية. تنقل الطعام من الفم إلى بداية البلعوم and we have pharyngeal stage which is involuntary لا إرادية and we have the third esophageal stage it is involuntary phase transport the food from esophagus to the stomach here the swallowing mechanism is controlled by multiple cranial nerve we have trigeminal nerve glossopharyngeal nerve vagus nerve and we have swallowing center this figure is for illustration to understand the gut motility we can apply the rule of motor valve reservoir unit in each part of GI system the motor valve and reserva unit المحرك الصمام المستقبل why we apply the MVR unit here to understand the function of each part of GI system the motor have multiple function whether mixing or squeezing فالمحرك ما هي وظيفته يخلط أو يضغط الطعام حتى يتحول إلى مواد أبسط while the valve or sammam tend to be continuously contracted, it might be constantly contracted, 
كان كونتراكت تو ويل ستوب موفمنت فاذا تقلص وكان مردود فيوقف حركه الطعام او كان ريلاكس تو ليت ستاف باي او ينبسط وينفتح الصمام حتى يسمح بحركه الطعام وايل ذا ريزيرفا المستقبل تن تو بي كونتينوسلي ريلاكس او كان ريلاكس تو هولد مور احسن مثال على ذلك هو المعده ممكن انه تنبسط اكثر لاستقبال طعام اكثر فعندما يتناول الشخص اكثر من قابليته تبقى المعدة مستمرة في استقبال الطعام اللي ياخذ الشخص وممكن تنبسط اكثر لاستقبال بعد كمية اكثر or the opposite can contract to hold less او يتقلص المستقبل ما يستقبل طعام اكثر these The MVR unit can control by neural control and hormonal control. So we can apply the MVR unit in each part of GI system. But where we can apply the MVR? If we think for few seconds, we can apply in any place contain a valve. So if we start by esophagus. We will go to the figure to be more clear. In the esophagus, you have here a valve and you have another lower valve. So we can apply the motor valve reserve unit. The motor here is the pharynx. The valve is upper esophageal sphincter. The reserve is the upper body of esophagus. The second MVR here We have the motor is lower esophageal body. We have the valve lower esophageal sphincter. And the reserva is the upper part of stomach. So if you face this question in the exam, what are the MVR unit in the esophagus? How you will apply the MVR unit in the esophagus? The answer is two MVR as we explain, 2 MVR. What is the function of these 2 MVR? Is movement of food from the pharynx through esophagus to the stomach. For the gastric area, stomach and mind. Again, we will go to this figure. Here you have valve and here you have valve. So if you face this question, how you will apply, how you will consider the MVR unit in the stomach. Again, we have two MVR. The first one is the motor, lower esophageal body. The valve is lower esophageal sphincter. The reservoir is upper part of the stomach. While the second MVR, the motor is lower part of the stomach. The valve is pylorus and the reservoir is the As we are here in this figure, you can see the pacemaker zone, like pacemaker in the heart. So here the movement of food through the stomach can be controlled electrically by pacemaker and neurally and by hormone. هذا كل الأشياء شرحناها. Okay. In the gastric motility, we have, again in this figure, it is more obvious, uh, the, uh, the motility of food in the stomach depends on the state of pylorus. حركة الطعام داخل المعدة يعتمد على وضعية الصمام. So if the pylorus is closed, إذا كان الصمام مغلق, so there will be mixing movement. تم حركة خلط الطعام لجعله يختلط مع digestive enzyme of uh, stomach while if the pylorus is opened إذا كان مفتوح الصمام so the food will move from the stomach through pylorus to the duodenum so the movement of food depend on the state of the pylorus valve the food In the stomach, we will call it here baby food. 
because it is similar to the baby food. الطعام داخل المعدة نسميه baby food طعام الطفل لأنه يشبه السبيلات baby food or kind. Things that slow down emptying of food from stomach. عوامل التي تسبب بطء عملية تفريغ المعدة هي large particles, too much acid, too much fat, too many osmol, too much amino acid. ممكن نلخصها بمثال إنه الشخص يتناول الطعام بسرعة بدون قطع لقمة الطعام فيتناولها لقمة كبيرة ويتناول وجبة دسمة ودهينة وذلك راح يشعر بدخمة وبطء عملية نقل الطعام من المعدة إلى الديودينام. In the intestine, again, we can apply the MVR unit because we have here ileocecal valve. So the entire small intestine is the motor. The valve is ileocecal valve. The reservoir is the colon. Again, if you face this question, how we will apply the MVR in the small intestine, you can answer the same like esophagus, stomach. We have two MVR, the upper and the lower. This is the lower MVR, while the upper MVR is the, where is the pylorus is the valve, the small intestine is the reservoir, and the lower stomach is the motor. What is the benefit of MVR unit? Is to export the food to the digest, di digestive enzyme and to absorb the main substance. In the motility of intestine, movement of food through the intestine, we have segmentation of a small intestine. Here is obvious the segmentation. This will help to mix the food. And we have the peristalsis movement. This will help to move the food through the small intestine. In the colon, yes, we have MVR unit. The motor is proximal colon. The valve is sigmoid colon. The reservoir is the rectum. What is the benefit of MVR unit here? Is to reabsorb the remaining water. Again, here in the colon, we have segmentation. But segmentation of the colon is more obvious. It is, its benefit is to reabsorb the water. After most of water has been received, a mass movement delivers solid stool to the rectum. The last MVR unit in the GI system is the motor is the rectum, the valve is the anus, the reservoir is a toilet. And the purpose here is to hold stool and allow continence. وغرض هنا انه الشخص يسيطر على الخروج. And in summary, you can uh, conclude that MVR units can be applied in any part of GI system which contain valve. So whenever there is, wherever there is a valve, you can apply and consider the MVR unit. And thank you so much.